Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got this DeWalt battery. Uh, typically, like a lot of them, show no bars and won't charge. When you have a battery like this, the temptation to jumpstart it from another battery is ever present. It's actually the default setting. It's actually what everybody tells you to do. Sometimes it's the right thing to do. But I'm going to show you why a lot of the time it's not. In my estimation, there are five things that you should do before connecting the wires to the battery and jumping it. Number one, meter the voltage coming out the top of the battery. If the voltage shown out your positive and negative terminals on your multimeter or voltmeter is 16.5 or 17 volts and the battery's not charging, jump start is not going to work. Number two, this involves taking the top off your battery by removing the four screws in the bottom, which I've already done. Uh, number two is checking the terminals. Checking these terminals for damage, burning, been spread, been damaged in any way. These are perfect as it happens. So that's not the problem in this one. Three, with the top off again, we check all the top connectors on this battery, like there's the positive, and we take this strip off and check the negative. It looks like it's had a bit of heat, but the connection's still attached here. And the smaller connections to the cells here, yeah, they're okay. If any of those are broke, the jump start will not work. Four, and this involves removing the, the battery pack from the casing. Now you must be careful doing this. This is you don't want to damage any cells or do any harm. With your battery out of the casing, you got to check the spot welds in the side. These here. See if any of them are rising off. They're still attached. It doesn't happen often, but I've seen it in most brands of battery. You can get spot welds that just let go. This one's okay, but if one or two of those spot welds is let go, your jump start is certainly not going to work. Number five, check the individual cell banks. You'll see there's five banks of two cells, plus to minus, minus plus, plus minus, minus plus. They're uh, connected in this way from positive to negative to positive to negative, etc. What you want to do is test the individual banks to see how equal they are, to see if there's any dead banks of cells. Again, you need the meter. That's less than half a volt, so that's a bad cell there. That's a bad couple of cells because these are joined together, of course. And the next one, 2.86. I'm going to do it the right way around. 2.86, so that's a good bank of cells. 2.83, that's also a good bank of cells. 2.79, also a good bank of cells. A bit low, but good. And 2.83. So this end bank of cells are dead. Dead bank of cells that is dead anywhere in the pack, one or more, that means the jump start will certainly not work. If you have... One bank of cells is significantly lower than the rest. The jump start will certainly not work. The only way the jump start will work is if the cells are all equal, or near equal, and all low. Other than that, you're wasting your time. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.